Hello Aquarius and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Aquarius. Sun, moon, rising in Venus, so I hope you're well. As always, the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. So welcome Aquarius. We're looking at the 18th to the 24th of March, 2024. So let's see what your fortune card is for the week. What do we have for Aquarius? Thank you. Angel Spirits Guides message for Aquarius. We have number 13, goals. Progress is positive and personal goals will be achieved. Well, that's lovely. Let's see what we have as an angel message for you. What do we have for Aquarius? Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. Message for Aquarius for the week, two cards. Oh, lovely gifts from God. When I say that, whatever God means to you. Archangel Sandalphon, we angels bring you gifts from your creator. Open your arms to receive. Wow, that's beautiful. We have a brilliant idea. Archangel Uriel, yes, your idea is divinely guided. Please take action to bring your idea to fruition. All right, Aquarius, let's see what we have for you. What do we have for Aquarius? Thank you. Angel Spirits Guides message for Aquarius for the week. Thank you. We've got the Nine of Cups. And we have the Eight of Swords. <clears throat> Three of Pentacles. Nine of Swords. The Emperor. The Chariot. Five of Swords. Five of Wands, and we have the Eight of Cups. It's like you're stuck waiting to get your wish. I mean, this is the energy here. Because uh, sometimes we feel this because the decision might not be with you. It might well be relying on another entity or another person or another party that can confirm that you're getting your wish, that there is reasons to celebrate here. So this feels like... Um, I feel that you're kind of like, it, things are beyond my control... I don't know if I'm going to get my wish. I'm, I don't know if I'm going to get what I want. Let's see what we have for you. What do we have for Aquarius? Thank you. Let's see what we have with the Eight of Swords. Four of Cups and Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, because I think that something is offered to you here, but it's not everything that you feel you deserve. I mean, this could be in a, in a job thing. This could be, there may well be some kind of offer given to you here, Aquarius, but you feel it's a compromise. Again, the Three of Pentacles and the Chariot. 
This can be a card of, of success, uh, but you feel it's a compromise. It might well be it's prompting you to take the reins and move forward. Maybe to find somewhere that you will feel, feel greater value and appreciation and get more money. I mean, this feels that kind of scenario. I think that's the brilliant idea this week. There's just something that's dawning on you this week where you don't you don't feel that you don't know if that you're ever going to get your wish it might well be where you are you feel stuck because you have an idea in terms of what you deserve and you're not sure you're going to get it maybe in your current circumstances The Five of Swords can be a card of conflict, um, fallouts, disagreements. I mean, it, it can also, it can be, you know, um, whether you're in a conflict as well, but it feels like you might be considering removing your place from a situation because you're not happy in terms of, it feels you're, you're not happy in terms of what you're being offered here. I think that you expect more than what's on offer to you in money terms. And you feel that there is a, it's too much, it feels like there's some kind of compromise with this offer. And I'm not sure that you're willing to accept the compromise in some way. And that's what I'm getting here. You're very clear in what the goal is in terms of what you want. It just feels that kind of scenario here. I mean, sometimes with the Nine of Swords, stress, anxiety, worry, sleepless nights. But I think the fundamental issue is that you're not sure whether you want to stay in a situation here where you're not going to get the money or the recognition that you deserve. That's what I'm seeing here. Let's pull a card for the Nine of Swords and the Five of Swords. Sometimes we just decide it's not worth it. I'm going to remove myself from this situation. Seven of Cups. Yeah, maybe pursuing options and opportunities. Maybe there's something else out there. This is what I'm seeing here. I think that, and this is the kind of idea, looking at your options, uh, seeing what's out there, seeing if there are new dreams, hopes, wishes to be manifested. I do think that you're taking steps, you know, certainly coming into this reading for the week, you know, the Seven of Cups, the Eight of Cups, the Nine of Cups, you're taking steps. And it's likely recognizing that I think a current place is not working for you anymore. But sometimes there's also a fear of the unknown. associated with this but again the the five of wands and the emperor the emperor can be a key decision maker or somebody who who reflects an establishment this could be not feeling on the same page as a boss or not feeling as a on the same page uh, in terms of, as a as a head of a company, or, you know, or what they stand for, or uh, the approach maybe a company is taking. I feel like you're kind of like at loggerheads. Let's see what we have with the Five of Wands and the Emperor. Because the Eight of Cups can be walking away and leaving. The Hermit. Shining the light within, going within, letting experience that has come to this point guide you in terms of how you need to move forward. This is deep down, I feel I need to walk away, go somewhere else. I think that you're in conflict with a boss or... Um, 
and there's kind of like a, you're not feeling on the same page. Again, it could also be some kind of fallout within a team dynamic, but you feel let down by, again, a leader or a boss of some kind as well. You don't feel the support is there. You don't feel um, that they can sort it out. I mean, for a lot of you, it feels like this is rooted around money areas, uh, some kind of compromise, uh, some kind of, I mean, it could be compromise in terms of sorting something out. But you felt that you deserved more than that if it wasn't even to do with money. For a lot of you, it, it feels, I mean, the Nine of Pentacles is all about self-value, self-appreciation and self-worth. And this is, I'm not sure this is everything for me. I'm not sure there is, this is, this is the place that's going to bring me happiness, fulfillment and joy. Either in deserving, you know, getting to a point where you're deserving in, in terms of getting what you, you should be, you feel that you should be paid in terms of money, career, finances, or being valued and recognized enough, you know, uh, for what you do and, and how you do it. It could also be that kind of scenario here, Aquarius, what was also getting with this, you know, this is what I deserve and nothing less than that. And it might well be when it comes to sorting out team dynamics or, you know, teams in terms of business, career, finances, it might well be that there's a, there's a, a boss that doesn't really, um, a boss or kind of like the company way of being, uh, it comes from the top, that kind of scenario that it just never gets sorted out properly in the way that you feel you deserve or should be appreciated or recognized. You might even feel scapegoated. So you're deciding, I think this is about you're deciding to leave because you're not going to either compromise in terms of money and your own value and what you deserve and nothing less than that, or your own self-value, self-appreciation. You know, this is what I deserve. I deserve to be recognized for who I am. There, there can be a kind of team fallout, team dynamic with a five of swords, five of wands energy. Uh, people doing what they want to do, disrespecting, disregarding you, causing you stress, anxiety, worry. And it could well be the inability of, of maybe management even to sort it out for you properly in a way that's fair. So, I mean, these are the energies here, but it's all about value, whether it's money or whether it's, whether it's, yeah or whether it's to do with self-value, self-appreciation, and self-worth. Let's see what we have with the Eight of Cups. I mean, the Eight of Cups is leaving, so I think that there is something coming in for you in the near future. Judgment. Yeah, I think the judgment The judgment can be, I think you're making it, this can be a wake-up call. We decide whether we want to stay on the path that we're on or choose to move in a different direction. But judgment can also be an important decision coming in that might allow you to walk away from your current circumstances and change your life path. Let's get one more with that. One more for judgment for Aquarius, thank you. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. I think this is likely coming in. You're leaving because you're moving. I feel that you're moving to a place where you're achieving your goal. This is a great card of goal achievement, financial success, long-term stability and security. Yeah, I think that this is likely here, Aquarius. I think that you've already set things in motion. Uh, there is certainly some kind of, if it, if it hasn't already happened, there is this brilliant idea coming your way, which I feel is likely to pursue your options, see what's out there, ultimately with a view to leaving when you've got something lined up. But I think that there is some kind of decision coming in this week, which allows you to either potentially change a life path in some way in business, career, financial areas, because it just feels like... Um, is the compromise not worth making? That's what I'm getting here. The Three of Pentacles, uh, whether it's to do with um, a company dynamic or structure, value and appreciation of you and, and deservingness of you, uh, valuing your point of view, valuing who you are, feeling valued and appreciate for the issue that you might have. 
you know, it never seems to get sorted. For others of you, it feels like to do with a money thing, not being valued and appreciated. So this is the energy here where I think that something is coming into you that allows you to move in a different direction and change your life path. It's a gift from God. I mean, however God manifests for you, I feel that there's a higher power sorting this out. This is quite karmic energy. All right, Aquarius, let's see what we have as a final message. Final message for Aquarius, thank you. I think something is coming in at the right time. What do we have for Aquarius? Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. Yes, we have a journey. It's time to prepare for a journey. It may be impromptu or planned. Either way, make sure when you're ready, when the time comes, pack your passport now. Yes, we, <laughs> we have flourish. It's a good indication that you're moving in a direction that you are going to flourish. I mean, the Ten of Pentacles is saying that. We have the Lotus Flower Fairy tells you to learn from experience and to shed your inner light on any unclear areas of your life or those of others. And we have new beginnings. This fairy godmother heralds the joyous news of a new baby or the birth of a cherished idea. Protect and nurture your ideas as you would a baby. That's what I have for you, Aquarius, for the week. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Maybe you found it helpful, useful. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful week. I will see you next time.